This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Tuesday, March 12, 2024. The title of this rant is Big Pharma, the Good, the Bad, and the Very Deadly Ugly. Uh, so drug manufacturers in the United States are doing great. They make great products. They sell them all over the world and in the United States. They have life-saving drugs that, let's just put it honestly, you can't put a price on some of these life-saving drugs. But at the same time, Big Pharma is putting a price on these life-saving drugs, and it is potentially killing Americans. Uh, so um, that's the good, is that they make great drugs. Uh, they're leaders worldwide. <clears throat> And it does help a lot of people. The bad part is, is that they have exorbitantly high prices, especially in the United States. Now, um, foreign countries are negotiating prices on medications with, the, with these big pharma companies. Uh, the Veterans Administration does. And they have had come up with prices uh, that uh, the big pharma has agreed to. But for Medicaid, Medicare, uh, for, for those particular areas, you can't negotiate prices on that. So prices for people on those things can be uh, 33 to eight times higher. So if it's pr a price of a drug here uh, in France is $10, then it's $30 here or $80, up to $80. And if we take that one step further, you know, $100 in France, uh, $300 to $800 here. Well, that can take, take some people out of the market by being able to buy these drugs because they have to decide whether they want to eat or whether they want to take these drugs. We saw this thing with uh, insulin. Insulin is now capped at $35. People were having to make decisions based on that, and there were people dying. And Big Farm was never making it. They were forced to do that type of thing. So they have kept drug prices artificially high for a long time. They've reaped billions and billions of dollars. And what have they done with that billions and billions of dollars? Yes, they've invested that into other things. But let's remember, Remember also that the federal government subsidizes them uh, because they also uh, want to have life-saving drugs and they put out, let's just say, a lot of grant money to do that type of a thing. So uh, Big Pharma makes money in the United States uh, at a much greater level than they do with the negotiated prices that are done by the Veterans Administration, also with other uh, countries who are negotiating these prices. Uh, they're screwing the United States, they're screwing the American people. And right now, uh, that's the good, that's the bad. But right now it's gonna get worse because the Biden administration has indicated that they want to basically negotiate pricing on 10 drugs. They've listed those 10 drugs and they wanna negotiate pricing on them and bringing those price pricing down. Uh, and still, of course, Big Pharma is going to make money off of it, but they don't want to make just big money off it. They want to make unbelievable money off it. Uh, so what have they been doing? And of course, they've been doing this for 50 years or more. They have lobbying all over the United States. They have it not only in Washington, D.C., but all over the United States. And right now they are suing the crap out of the Biden administration in the areas that they know that they can get some traction. Uh, so that this will be halted uh, or that this will eventually be stalled for a long period of time and then go to the Supreme Court. And then Supreme Court, which is very corporate friendly, will go in their favor. So they're not taking this lion down. And again, again, these are 10 drugs widely used in a lot of different areas. They're making gobs of money on it. Government's saying, hey, you can make money. We just don't want you to make as much money. And they're screwing the American people on all of this. And of course, of course, they're not lying down. They're doing it and they're doing it hard. Now, how are they know? Let's just put out that Big Pharma uh, has done lobbying in the United States in the last two years, almost over $700 million. Uh, they've uh, directly um, put money in the coffers of um, uh, candidates uh, up to the tune of about 77 million over the last two years. So they're very, very big in this area uh, of politicking on medicine and keeping people alive. And they still want to make their profits. And of course, who are they investing that in? Mostly Republicans, some corporate Democrats. All right. Uh, and this is how the system works right now. You make money, you change laws, you make even more money. You put people in your pocket. So who's in the pocket? all Republicans and corporate Democrats. We need to get rid of them. It is time to elect liberal Democrats.